Okay, so it's completely done. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, it lifts about 200 pounds or so, which isn't that impressive really. Um, about three and a half, four feet high or so. Um, and it's only limited to that because of this uh, tilt cylinder. Uh, because I have the pressure uh, lower down pretty far. So this lift cylinder doesn't break this sketchy uh, tilt of the forks or anything like that. Um, otherwise, it probably could lift probably six, seven hundred pounds. Um, by lifting the 200 to 250 pounds, the back doesn't even start to come in the air. Um, and uh, I was lifting this uh, Yanmar diesel, which is for a small tractor, a three-cylinder Yanmar, which is under here, parts engine I have. And then uh, this moor deck isn't super heavy either, but it's something. I don't have anything else right here that I could lift to show you, but that's what I had for now. Uh, something I did do is it was leaking. You've probably seen this in the previous couple of videos. It was leaking really bad uh, right here on either side in the front. So I came up with this uh, to make that work. It's like three fittings put together. Kind of cobbled together, but it works and doesn't leak. So that's good, I guess. Um, so for the seat, I upholstered it and it kind of shows uh, just some uh, two... Uh, three inch foam um, with a plastic back on the back of it and then uh batteries down here I'm not really happy with on how the battery uh, situation where it is but it's in a good enough spot and it doesn't get heat from the engine where it's at so that's pretty good I guess um, the oil filter for the transmission is right here in a really nice easy spot to get to uh, to get a wrench in there uh, the transmission is from a John Deere uh, greens mower uh 2500 and then so is the front and rear axle on this they're very very heavy duty uh probably overkill if anything for this this is a good uh probably just over quarter inch thick and then uh this is even slightly thicker than that and these motors are meant to handle i think 1200 pounds a piece so it's easily going to cover the weight that this can handle so it's got the uh transmission from that and then I have this little door here that you can open up to access the engine. And then this is a Lifen uh, 420cc engine, uh, which is supposedly like 15 horsepower, which this one here, even though it's brand new, it doesn't run the greatest. Uh, it idles like total junk, so it is what it is. I have a horn in here, so if you actually push the button up here, there's a horn. Um, Go around to the back here there's a radiator to cool down the hydraulics because it does get quite hot I'm working this pretty hard uh there is a like little light here like heavy equipment has because i had it uh i had it working but i had to unplug it because it uses too much power and it actually drains the battery so unfortunately i had to unplug that parking brake on each side you just pull this lever up and you got a parking brake it's really nice to have actually um, hour meter, which is the hour meter off the real mower. Uh, so I just wrote with a marker on above it what it was when uh, I put the engine in here. And then you just turn the key on, and then uh, that comes on with the key. Um, decal I made and laminated uh, here to show the parking brake. I didn't do it on that side. And then uh, I never made a cover for this because I figured it takes some leg room away with that cover. So I never actually did it. And then somewhere I should have a cap for the steering wheel, but I lost it and haven't found it. But there should be a cap on there at some point. Uh, throttle is right here along on the side. Choke, and then of course the horn button. And then a handy decal that says uh, what everything does. And then uh, this operates, if you pull it back, it tilts the forks back towards you. If you push it forward, they go down. And then this lever here brings the loader up. And then this here pushes it down, which of course you don't need the engine running to go down. Uh, the cylinder for steering is only a four inch cylinder and it's kind of mounted at an extreme angle, but it does seem to work pretty good. So I left that be the way it is. Um, two spool hydraulic valve with the adjustment turned down so it only lifts 200 pounds or so like I was mentioning. Um, 18 inch or a 10 inch stroke hydraulic cylinder it extends from 18 inches all the way to 28 fully extended uh, greasable bearings where the loader goes up and down um, just happens to be that's what I had and it seems to work really good the forks are just uh, 
like U channel with some solid round uh, welded in the middle, which for what it can lift currently is more than plenty. So I guess that's good. Uh, 23, 10, 50, 12 tires on, uh, I think they're eight inches wide, uh, 12 inch rims. Uh, basically golf cart tires, they're used. Um, they fit on here really nice and give it a nice lift. Um, but yeah, uh, that is it for this video. Um, this turned out really nice. Eventually I'm probably gonna buy another cylinder, another 10 inch stroke cylinder like this one and uh, swap out this top one with that and then I can increase the pressure and probably lift five, 600 pounds. But this isn't my main machine and I don't even need it realistically because I have a forklift actually forklifts so this is just kind of like a for fun kind of machine